Welcome back everyone, and uh, before anything I want to apologize for the uh, bad appearance in today's video, but uh, I did just wake up, and uh, like every millennial, uh, you know, I sadly checked my phone in the first like five seconds of me opening up my eyes, and I saw this news on Instagram, so uh, that's uh, why I've got the bed head. Just woke up, wanted to make this video, since I think this is some pretty, you know, honest news. I think this is actually something that, uh, you know, if I had to compare it to a lot of these other kind of rumors and stuff, like that, uh, the rebel pilot helmet thing that I post on my, uh, in my community tab the other day. You know, I think this actually has some validity to it, and uh, yeah, this comes from BrickFanatics.com, uh, thanks to them for the article, and they're pretty much saying, in the last uh, LEGO Star Wars magazine, includes a first look at what may be a new minifigure scale TIE bomber set, so uh, yeah, I'll show the picture up on screen right here, this is uh, in a couple different pages of this uh, LEGO Star Wars magazine, and uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like a brand new updated TIE bomber, so uh, you know, the last one we got was, what, 2005, 2006, around then, uh, obviously back in the, the blue and the blue black color scheme you know we, you know we've yet to ever have it in the in the regular like light blue gray and black uh, kind of updated color scheme so uh yeah this actually looks like something that could happen since of course you know it was in the fan vote with the gunship and the nebulon and we know how that went you know the gunship one we're going to be getting that this year and then uh coincidentally right after you know pretty much within like the same year we got the nebulon uh set so you know, it does cross my mind that there is a very strong possibility, you know, they had a design for a TIE bomber already made beforehand. Like, I wouldn't doubt if something over the years, like probably even five years ago, you know, ten years ago, you know, they probably had a new design for the TIE bomber. Like, you know, those designers are probably doing that type of stuff all over, you know, all the time. You know, that's why we see a lot of stuff in the background that, uh, you know, we can make videos on and stuff and speculate on. But I truthfully feel like this could be a potential 2022 set, like maybe in the winter. Like, honestly, like, you know, release it like how they did the TIE fighter in 2021. You make it a $50 TIE Bomber, uh, maybe two minifigures, three minifigures, and I think this looks pretty great. I mean, again, it looks just like kind of like the, all the custom ones, a little bit more Lego-y. You know, there's not, you know, too many uh, super cool techniques on it. You can't really see too much of it. There's only a few different angles of it, but uh, nonetheless, it does look very cool. And uh, yeah, this could be a potential look at it. Like, I would not doubt Lego has this built. Uh, you know, in one of their studios or in the, one of the design rooms. And uh, yeah, nonetheless, I think this looks pretty cool. And uh, I just want to make a little video on it that this is a potential uh, new set. You know, I definitely think out of pretty much every other speculation uh, for new sets, I think this one actually uh, does have some validity to it. So I think this actually might happen. I would not, you know, doubt that we'll be getting a TIE Bomber eventually, but I think now this kind of expedites the fact that we could get uh, one sooner than we think. So uh, nonetheless, guys, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Leave your comments down below on this. Again, sorry for my bad head and sorry for the presence I, again i literally just woke up not even kidding five minutes ago i came right down here to make this video so uh, yeah thank you guys all for watching i'll see you guys all in the giveaway winner announcement video tomorrow or today uh, later today i'll see you guys all then bye guys stay safe